an Israeli blockade repeated airstrikes targeting their lands and an Israeli threat on their lives along the no-go buffer zone. This is the story of Palestinian farmers in Gaza. In the past days, the occupation targeted farmlands. It is not empty lands, as Israel claims, but it is farmed. This results in holes that are 8 to 12 meters deep, which destroy the soils and the irrigation nets. The rockets contain poisoned chemicals like uranium, which causes a number of health issues to Gaza citizens. Palestinian farmlands have been the target of many Israeli attacks during the years. The airstrikes and bombings have polluted the farmers' lands, making it unsuitable for healthy plant cultivations. We have noticed an increase of cancer patients in Gaza in the past three years. International reports have proven that there is a huge amount of uranium in the area as a result of the Israeli aggressions and attacks. The misery of Gaza's farmers does not stop here, as they lack the needed machinery and seeds, and Israel does not allow them to export their goods to the outside world. When Israel targets our lands, the soil and water become polluted, which therefore poisons the crops and we cannot replant it like before. The land dies in front of the farmer's eyes while he stands helpless. Our lands are our sole source of income. The Ministry of Health and the farmers in Gaza have called on the international community and human rights organizations to end Israel's continuous attacks on Palestinian farmers and civilians. As the Israeli blockade and airstrikes on the coastal enclave continue, farmers in Gaza are the ones to pay the price. Hala Safadi, Press TV, Gaza.